Today, we stand at Tullyhog Fort on the outskirts of Tullyhog Village near Cookstown, County Tyrone, Northern Ireland. It is an ancient ceremonial site where the Kings of Ulster, the O'Neills, were crowned on Loch Nari. Today, we have with us three generations of the Wahagan family down to our youngest baby, Sophie, whose forefathers were stewards to the kings and guardians of this sacred site. In honour of our heritage, we have come today to present the thin yellow line, a visual and powerful representation of the true and tiny proportion of people recorded as dying with COVID in Northern Ireland. It puts the official COVID deaths into their proper perspective by comparing them to the total births, total deaths and the population for 2020. The column has a height of five metres from the base of the white area to the top of the pole. It represents the total population of Northern Ireland in 2020 or 2020. 1,917,998 and includes all births and deaths. This means that every centimetre of this column represents 3,836 living, breezy men, women, boys and girls. At the bottom you see a white stripe. This stripe shows the babies born in Northern Ireland in 2020. There were 20,825 new births, which represent 5.43 centimetres. The black stripe at the top represents 17,614 people who died in 2020, regardless of the cause of death. This area represents 4.6 centimetres of the pole. Of these 17,614 who died last year, about 1,903 reportedly died related to COVID-19. These deaths result in the thin yellow strip at the top of the pole, which is 0.5 centimetres high. Over 63% of the reported 1,903 deaths related to COVID-19 were aged 80 years and over. A further 23% were aged over 70. Almost 90% had an average of two to three pre-existing medical conditions. According to NISRA, the Northern Ireland Statistics and Research Agency, the most common pre-existing conditions were dementia and Alzheimer's. Hypertensive diseases such as high blood pressure and diabetes. This poll with this thin yellow line aims to highlight COVID-19 deaths in relation to all deaths in Northern Ireland in 2020. We still do not know whether these 1,903 people died of with or even without COVID-19. That is not 0.1% of a 5 metre poll. Every life is precious and the one life lost is a tragedy and difficult for each and every family. However, the thin 0.5 centimetre yellow line at the top has been blown up into a pandemic by the media, the World Health Organization, our governments, the Department of Health and our National Health Service for over 18 months now. So that we are constantly kept in fear to increase our willingness to follow COVID guidelines and the continued rollout of the experimental vaccine, jab or gene therapy programme, which now includes children who are at little to no risk. Quoting from NHS letter sent to 16 to 17 year olds, getting vaccinated is the best way to help get our lives back to normal. For example, holidays, return to sporting events, festivals, nightclubs, 
or to enjoy recently restored freedoms and avoid further lockdowns. All four reasons for getting the jab are nothing to do with our health. What sort of message are we sending out to our young, our future generations? Lockdown. Three weeks to flatten the curve and now, seven to eight weeks later, we're still no further forward. Did locking us and society have any positive impact on COVID-19? Did we save one life only to sacrifice so many more? Increased fear, stress, uncertainty. Isolation and loneliness for our elderly. Break up of families. Place of execution, social contact with our friends. Increases in mental health issues and suicides. Missed and late diagnosis for many health conditions. Missed and delayed treatments for those already undergoing medical care. Loss of jobs. Loss of incomes. Loss of businesses. Death of family members who died alone and isolated and in the presence of strangers. Lost opportunities to say goodbye to loved ones and to mourn their passing with respect, dignity, religious and extended family support. Loss of freedoms that we may never get back unless we reclaim them. They are our natural, unalienable rights that, if we are not careful, our children will never know existed. These are not freedoms that anyone, especially government bodies, can determine for us. We are giving them away one at a time. Life is precious and a gift to each and every one of us. It comes with risks that we can assess for ourselves and manage. We have only one life. We have a God-given right to live a full, free and happy life. Get out, see your families, live your lives in peace, love, honour and harmony. We are the ones that can make a difference by each and every choice we make. We can be the change and drive that change with every moment fully lived. Together we are stronger, together we thrive. And this will be our gift and legacy to future generations. Spend your time only once, so spend it wisely.